Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I'm gonna be showing you a quick video on how to install the AMD's Ryzen Threadripper. You guys might already be familiar with the installation of regular CPUs but this one it's a little bit different. It's a very interesting video so do watch it till the end. So the Ryzen Threadripper comes in this box packing. It looks beautiful. It's almost double in size than the regular processors. There are no pins on it. It has these gold contacts at the bottom. And along with the Threadripper, you'll get a Torx screwdriver in the box. You'll need this screwdriver to open the TR4 socket on the motherboard. And the motherboard I'll be using is the ASUS ROG Zenith Extreme. It's a beautiful RGB motherboard with a TR4 socket and also has a live dash OLED that can be customized to display anything. So let's start with the installation. This is the TR4 socket guys. This is how it looks like. It may look a bit sophisticated, but trust me, the installation is very easy. It has three screws on it that you need to open in this order, three, two, and one. All of them are marked and the instructions are there on the socket itself. It also says how to close the socket over here. You need the Torx screwdriver to open up this socket. Let me just bring it. This is the screwdriver guys. You'll get this along with the thread ripper in the box. Okay, let's get started. Make sure to follow the order three, two, one. The screws marked with 3 and 2 are at the bottom and 1 is at the top. So when you open it, the outer bracket pops up due to spring action. Leave it over there. It has a 3 layer like structure where you need to lift this inner bracket which has a plastic tray on it. Just grab it from the sides and lift it gently. You can observe that there's a plastic piece over here that you need to remove so that you can install the thread ripper in its place. Grab it like this and pull it out gently to expose the pins. These pins can be very delicate guys. Make sure you don't touch them or drop anything. Now we need to remove this plastic piece before placing the processor here. This plastic tray is also called as a carrier frame. You just have to slide it and it comes out easily like this. Before placing the processor, always make sure to check this triangle mark. It's there on the bracket over here, on the carrier frame and also at the bottom of the processor. So make sure to align them and insert the carrier frame in this bracket slowly like this. Now slide the processor all the way down and see that it fits perfectly in the bracket. Now you need to lower this bracket and press it down, so the processor locks in its position. And the final step you need to do is, lower this outer bracket and close it in the order 1, 2 and 3. And that's it guys, we've successfully installed the Ryzen Threadripper CPU. That was very easy right? So that was my quick video on how to install this processor. This procedure was a bit different than the regular ones, that's why I wanted to show you how it's done. Hope you enjoyed this video. And also guys, I'd like to share another video with you. I was invited to the AMD Game On 2017 event held on 3rd December at Hyderabad. It was a gaming event. They held a competition where lots of gamers were there. They were playing Counter Strike and Dota 2 and also had cash prices up to 50,000 rupees. All the players were provided with top end rigs by AMD. They had Ryzen 1800X processors coupled with Vega 64 GPUs. That was super awesome. And also the event was not just about gaming competition. They also showcased some customized rigs with liquid cooling loops. They used top of the line processors and graphic cards in crossfire configuration. I had so much fun with them. Plus they also had VR stations where they led the users to experience gaming in VR. They used both Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. And I have to tell you, the experience was really good. Just check out these clips I shot at the event. I also got to play and experience this game called Asura. It's a PC game that's made in India by Indian developers. It's a hack and slash game and I like the concept. You can just google it for more info about this game. So that was pretty much about the event guys. The experience was good, loved the event, I had a great time over there. Hope you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.